afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Live at Four. Welcome to 2022. That's right. I hope everybody had a happy new year. Boy, and here we are. Here we go. Is your tree still up? It is still up. Well, now, and I, listen, I heard this on the radio today. You should keep it up till January 6th. That's the 12th day of Christmas. Oh, that's good. So, that's a good idea. So Thursday. And if you don't take it down by then, it's got to stay up till Easter. Otherwise, it's bad luck. <laughs> okay. All right. Good. Now I've got to pass. I don't know. It just, I hate to see it go. Yeah. The season always goes by so Especially fast. This, it gets dark so early. Right. It's nice right. to have the lights. Okay, so. good. There you got it. You have permission. Got it. All right. Topping our news today, our wind chills didn't get us far out of the single digits Today. So what's in store for the rest of the week? Dana Fulton is here with the first one forecast. It is cold. Wisconsin has hit 1 million cumulative COVID cases as kids in Madison. Some kids shift to online learning. So what's next? And jury selection in the Chandler Halderson trial started today. We'll look at how attorneys are whittling the jury pool down from dozens to 12 jurors and six alternates. Let's take a look outside. As we mentioned, chilly, but you know, the sun helps a little bit. <laughs> That's Does positive it? thinking, Mark. Does it help? <laughs> yes. No, Dana is out on the patio. Dana, you survived Lambeau Field last night. I did. I did. It was my first time in Lambeau, and everyone was bundled up. It was uh, it was a lot of fun. A few a few Looney Tunes running around without any shirts on, and we were all just wondering how they were doing it. So uh, I, I don't think the sun is helping. I really got to disagree with Mark on this one. Wind chills right now close to about 10, generally in the single digits for most of southern Wisconsin, so it feels quite cold outside. Temperature-wise, we're just a smidge warmer than where we we're at this time yesterday, so that puts us close to 20 for most of the area, about 15 in Monroe right now, and 19 for uh, Janesville and in Mineral Point, so a little bit warmer, but again, it feels about 10 degrees cooler than our actual temperatures. We have a, a pretty clear sky right now, temperature-wise, again, in the upper teens. The breeze coming in from the south-southwest, so that is going to help things improve briefly for the middle of the week. It's not going to be a long warm up. Most of the forecast looks quite dry for us right now. We have a brief warm up to some cool temperatures, but not quite as cold and then a little colder trend expected for Friday. In fact, we've added an alert day to the forecast for late Thursday night and Friday morning. Temperatures Friday morning will drop well below zero with wind chills staying below zero throughout the day uh, yet again. As far as traffic conditions right now, things actually look pretty smooth throughout Dane County and Rock County, but do keep in mind uh, things could still be a little slicker icy and spots to be careful on your commute home. It's the mood is what I was saying. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I've, now it's in my eye. There's no mood boosting from the sun right now. <laughs> I just want to be inside. So, why don't you come inside? <laughs> All right, Dana. Thank you. I think Dana won that one. Huh? I think so. <laughs> All right. Well, the FDA has taken another step in the battle against COVID-19. This says cases continue to surge in much of the country. Wendy Gillette reports from New York. The FDA authorized vaccine boosters for children ages 12 to 15 years old. The agency also said everyone 12 and older eligible for the third dose of the Pfizer vaccine can get it five months after their second dose rather than six months. We're most interested in making sure that uh, we prevent uh, serious outcomes such as hospitalization and death, which granted, though uncommon uh, in 12 to 15 year olds, can occur. The CDC still has to sign off on the booster for younger teens. The move comes as the number of new U.S. cases hit an all-time high last week, nearly half a million in one day. In Florida, positive COVID cases soared past 40,000 per day last week. Particularly South Florida, we do believe it's overwhelmingly Omicron infections that are incurring, but Delta is still there. In New York City, where new cases jumped 218 percent in just two weeks, children headed back. Back to school. I know her class, they had a couple kids in there that was tested positive. So we're going to see. New Mayor Eric Adams greeted students in the Bronx and vowed not to return to virtual learning. We're staying open. Millions of COVID tests have been sent to schools across New York City to make sure those who are infected stay home. We need more testing. Testing needs to increase across the country to be able to stop the spread of the virus. New York City's school chancellor announced a new COVID command center to report pandemic-related issues, including problems with testing and lack of staff. Wendy Gillette, CBS News, New York. 
Jury selection is underway in the trial of Chandler Halderson, the Dane County man accused of killing and dismembering his parents last summer. The prospective juror poll includes more than 60 people. Judge John Hyland dismissed a handful of jurors who had raised health concerns about being seated for the trial, which is expected to last at least three weeks before having the prospective jurors swear in. Judge Hyland spoke on the responsibility they were about to take on if they were chosen. You don't have to pay taxes if you're willing to face the consequences for that. But being here today and serving and being willing to serve and to do so conscientiously and with great, great sense of responsibility, not to me, but to each other, is vitally important to our system. After dismissing those who had health concerns, the judge and attorneys moved into a separate room to question jurors individually. The jury selection process was expected to take most of today. We have just learned that the jury has been seated, 12 jurors have been selected, and the trial will begin tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. We have many resources for you to get access to all of the information that you need regarding this lengthy trial. Here on Channel3000.com, Halderson and will be live streaming uh, will be live right, live streaming the trial when it is in session there is also a timeline of all of the events that led up to this trial from the last time the Haldersons were seen all the way to the trial date on the Halderson page there is also a full conversation that he had with one of our reporters just before being arrested and be sure to stay up to date at every twist and turn of the trial be sure to download the news 3 now app from your preferred app store there there will, there will send you alerts telling you the most important events coming out of the trial. Be sure to download it today. New York Attorney General Letitia James has subpoenaed two of former President Trump's children in a civil investigation into the family real estate business. The AG's office has subpoenaed Ivanka Trump and Donald Trump Jr. regarding an investigation into whether the Trump Organization manipulated the value of its properties. Former President Trump was previously issued a subpoena for testimony. The deadline for that is Friday, but Trump's lawyers have said they will fight it. Eric Trump, who serves as executive Vice President at the company, previously provided testimony in 2020. The Trump Organization and its executives are also facing a criminal investigation for allegedly inflating the value of some assets. Prosecutors have interviewed additional witnesses in that case in recent weeks. Well, a winter storm is bearing down on the mid-Atlantic region and is expected to drop as much as 10 inches of snow. It took a team of strong people to push the moving staircase meant for Air Force One stuck in the snow at Joint Base Andrews outside Washington, D.C. Those on board, including President Biden, waited 30 minutes to deplane before an hour-long treacherous ride back to the White House. Good tires were a must for those trying to drive, and plows couldn't keep up with snow that forecasters say was falling at a rate of two inches an hour. Stay off the roads. That's the big thing. The roads are very slick. In the nation's capital, government offices and schools closed. That's a similar story up and down the East Coast. The storm also cut off power to more than 400,000 customers in Tennessee, Georgia, the Carolinas, and Virginia. And thousands of travelers hoping to fly home after the holidays found themselves grounded. President Biden is beginning the new year focused on the rising price of meat as he tries to tackle inflation. The president met virtually with farmers, ranchers, and independent processors after announcing new actions aimed at lowering the price of meat. The White House plans to distribute $1 billion of American Rescue Plan funding to expand and diversify the nation's meat processing capacity, in part by helping producers address inspection costs, purchase more equipment, and provide workplace training and safety. We're excited about being able to have local processing done by local people and then sell directly to the consumer. 
The Biden administration is also proposing new rules to clarify the product of USA label, which for now also applies to meat raised overseas, but processed here in the US. Federal data shows that food costs have soared nearly 7% since this time last year, with beef prices up more than 20%. The White House is also pushing Congress to pass bipartisan legislation to make cattle markets more transparent. Well, there's speculation about where Betty White could be buried, and one of the locations people are talking about is in our backyard. The American icon, of course, passed away on Friday. Her third husband, Alan Ludden, who she called the love of her life, passed away in 1981 and was buried in the Graceland Cemetery in his hometown of Mineral Point. That's where it's leading some to speculate that she could be headed to Wisconsin. Paul Kellen is a lifelong Mineral Point resident. There's room for it here, but I don't know if, what, where. To be clear, we don't know what the plans are for the funeral and burial of Betty White. She decided not to remarry after Ludden's death. In an interview with Larry King, when asked whether she would remarry, she replied by saying, quote, once you've had the best, who needs the rest? Oh. The Olin Park lights are going away for the season. The lights go off tomorrow at dawn, approximately 4 a.m. for the year. Electricians with IBEW Local 159 work to install the lights in November, and they will be taking them down tomorrow morning, the day, uh, the tomorrow and the day after at Olin Park. So if you haven't caught this year's light display, Tonight is your night. <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> yep, and then that's it. The season is over. Well, winter break may be over for some, but not for others. The Madison Metropolitan School District announced its plans to go virtual following winter break. Since then, daycares and other organizations have stepped up to help with child care while parents return to work this week. This community has given so much to me and backed my idea of opening up the space. Really, at the end of the day, the space belongs to them anyways. This is just a return on their investment in us. So, The center is still looking for volunteers. You must be, be vaccinated and background checked. Well, still to come at four, thousands of people line the streets of Pasadena each New Year Day to watch the Rose Bowl Parade pass by. When we come back, if you can't get enough of the floats, there is Float Fest after the parade. We'll find out more about that when Live at Four continues. You're watching News 3 Now, Live at Four. These are the faces that smile so wide at the friends and staff who are by their side, where life is lived with a feeling of pride on every bump of life's great ride that comes from the care that sweetens the air that lives in the house that angels built. Attic Angel Community, independent homes and four levels of assisted living built with the help of angels. Start the new year off right with Menards Bag Sale. Pick up a bag in store and get 15% off everything you can fit in the bag now through January 15th. Whether you pack it, load it, stuff it, or stack it. From light bulbs to tools, snacks, and much more, fit it in the bag and save 15%. So pick up a bag in store and find out how much you fit in the bag now through January 15th. And also try Aleve X topical pain relief. My daughter has type 2 diabetes, and lately I've seen this change in her. Once weekly, Trulicity is proven to help lower A1C. It lowers blood sugar from the first dose, and you could lose up to 10 pounds. Trulicity is for type 2 diabetes. It isn't for people with type 1 diabetes. It's not approved for use in children. Don't take Trulicity if you're allergic to it. You or your family have medullary thyroid cancer or have multiple endocrine neoplasia syndrome type 2. Stop Trulicity and call your doctor right away if you have an allergic reaction, a lump or swelling in your neck, severe stomach pain, changes in vision, or diabetic 
retinopathy. Serious side effects may include pancreatitis. Taking Trulicity with sulfonylurea or insulin raises low blood sugar risk. Side effects include nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea, which can lead to dehydration and may worsen kidney problems. Ask your doctor about once-weekly Trulicity. Consumer Cellular has the best customer service. They care about the customer. The best price with the best quality. The prices, the coverage. The coverage is great. It was the same, if not better. Consumer Cellular provides the exact same premium coverage as the nation's leading carriers for half the cost. Switch to Consumer Cellular and get talk, text, and data starting at just $20 a month. It's like four scoops of ice cream for the price of one. Switch today and get a 100% risk-free guarantee. Call or go online. Tomorrow, we are taking time for kids, talking about their mental health during the pandemic. We'll share when it's time to seek help for your kids. And we have a colder than average forecast expected. We'll see you from 430 to 7 on News 3 Now this morning. In a recent clinical study, patients using Salon Pass patch reported reductions in pain severity, using less or a lot less oral pain medicines, and improved quality of life. That's why we recommend Salon Pass. It's good medicine. Welcome back. A new poll finds about one third of Americans think violence against the government is sometimes justified. The CBS News YouGov poll coincides with this week's anniversary of the assault on the nation's capital and finds the vast majority of Americans believe democracy is under threat. More than two thirds in the poll say the events of that day are a sign of increasing political divide and violence in this country. And only 32% see January 6th as an isolated incident. The poll finds 85% of Democrats call it an insurrection, while 47% of Republicans call it patriotism, and 56% of Republicans say participants were defending freedom. A majority expect violence over losing in future presidential elections. Well, Congress plans to honor a former political giant in Washington next week. Former Senator, Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid will lie in state at the U.S. Capitol Rotunda next Wednesday. A joint statement from House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and current Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer announced this, the decision. Reid died last Tuesday. He was 82 after a four-year battle with pancreatic cancer. The Nevada Democrats served in the U.S. Senate for three decades, 12 of those years as a leader. In fact, he was the sixth longest serving leader in the Senate of any party. Due to the pandemic, only invited guests will be able to attend next week's ceremonies and events honoring Reed. Some firearms dealers will soon be required to make secure gun storage devices available for purchase. Today, the Department of Justice issued new rules for gun dealers with federal licenses. Devices include gun safes, gun cases, and lock boxes that are compatible with the firearms being sold. The devices also must be designed to be unlocked locked by a key combination or similar means. The new regulation goes into effect February 3rd. Well, this is the end of an era. If you still have an original BlackBerry, you won't be able to use it, not even to call 911 starting tomorrow. The company says it will no longer support devices running BlackBerry 10's operating system and earlier. Most users have moved on from their Blackberries, but in 2012, 80 million people had one. BlackBerry ultimately couldn't compete with the Apple iPhone, and the company now focuses on providing security software and services to enterprises and governments. You had a BlackBerry. I did. I still miss it, actually. <laughs> it was a great phone. The third largest pizza chain in the U.S. is raising the price of one of its most popular deals. Little Caesars says its signature $5 hot and ready pizza will now cost $5.55. That's an increase of 11 percent and Little Caesars says the new price is a permanent change. It is the deal's first price in uh, the company's first price increase in nearly 25 years. Well, someone still has a chance to become the first Powerball jackpot winner of 2022. The lottery's jackpot has jumped to $540 million after no one won in Saturday night's drawing. The next drawing comes tonight. If somebody wins, they'll be able to choose between a lump sum cash out of $384 million or choose to receive the entire five $540 million in 30 payments over 29 years. No one has won the jackpot in almost three months. Powerball does admit the overall odds of winning the top prize are one in 292 million. 
Well, there's that one chance. Stocks started off the new year trading by setting records across the board. The Dow Industrials added 246 points, closing at a record setting 36,585. The NASDAQ tacked on 187 points. The S&P 500 up 30, both records as well. Well, the Rose Parade went off without a hitch this year, even as L.A. County marked its highest ever daily COVID totals. Thousands of people lined Colorado Boulevard in Pasadena to get a look at the millions of flowers and natural items used to decorate the parade floats. But if, if you want to get up close enough to touch the flowers, you have to go to float. You have to go to Float Fest, <laughs> where they park the floats the day after the parade and allow the public to see the beauty up close and personal. Tina Patel shows us around. They're beautiful. When Priscilla Fuchita and her friends found out the first few hours of Float Fest were open just for senior citizens, they decided to take advantage. And it's great. It's not crowded. Everyone's so nice. Visitors had to show proof of vaccination or a recent COVID test to get onto Float Fest grounds, and they had to wear masks, but that didn't seem to bother anyone. They seemed happy just to have this New Year tradition back. They come here from all over the country and sometimes all over the world, and just seeing the magic in their eyes when they see this up close because it's unlike anything that's out there. Some people come to Float Fest every year, but Kathy Bergman hasn't been since she was a kid. She says it's a different experience now. It was fun as a kid to see it uh, as a whole, but when you're, as an adult, you can see the it, all the specific details, and up close is different. We were noticing how there's cabbages and bell peppers and all these exciting vegetables being used that you wouldn't notice even on TV. Decorators say they had to be creative this year, figuring out what to use on their floats because there were some pandemic-related shortages and supply chain issues. It's fun for them now seeing the reactions of people when they recognize the different materials. They peer in and they say, you did what with what? Um, we dry fruit, we slice fruit, we chop vegetables. It's a unique kind of art, appreciated even more when you can see it in person. I love the themes, how they, everybody creates something that fits the themes, and so, yeah, this is just a little treasure for me. Even though people are still enjoying the floats from this year, some volunteers tell me they are already starting to plan for what they want to do next year. In Pasadena, Tina Patel, CBS 2 News. And we've both been in the barns where they make those floats. It's unbelievable. I've never been to Float Fest, though, no, to see them after I, the parade. It's time to go back. Yeah, that's a good tip. <laughs> well, are you in the market for a new Ford Bronco? Get in line and get ready for sticker shock. We'll find out how some dealers are asking tens of thousands of dollars over the suggested retail price and when this new car shortage may end. That's coming up after Dana's forecast. To be a thriver with metastatic breast cancer means asking for what we want and need, and we need more time. So we want Kiskali. Women are living longer than ever before with Kiskali. When taken with an aromatase inhibitor or fulvestrant in postmenopausal women with HR positive HER2 negative metastatic breast cancer, Kiskali is a pill that's significantly more effective at delaying disease progression versus an aromatase inhibitor or fulvestrant alone. Kiskali can cause lung problems or an abnormal heartbeat, which can lead to death. It can cause serious skin reactions, liver problems, and low white blood cell counts that may result in severe infections. Tell your doctor right away if you have new or worsening symptoms, including breathing problems, cough, chest pain, a change in your heartbeat, dizziness, yellowing of the skin or eyes, dark urine, tiredness, loss of appetite, abdomen pain, bleeding, bruising, fever, chills, or other symptoms of an infection, a severe or worsening rash, are or plan to become pregnant or breastfeeding. Avoid grapefruit during treatment. Ask your doctor about living longer with Kiskali. How much money have you wasted trying to find the right shade of foundation to match your skin tone? You end up with so many unused bottles, yet you can't bear to throw them out. Now, there's Color Beauty self-adjusting foundation, which means you'll never search for the perfect shade again. It's really difficult for me to find a good tone foundation. I usually purchase about three or four and sometimes mix them. Color Beauty is a game changer in finding the right foundation. You put it on your skin and it transforms into your own skin tone. The Color Beauty Foundation is so simple to put on. My skin looks great and it 
just looks awesome. The key to the innovative Color Beauty formula is tiny color beads that release and blend to perfectly match your skin tone as you apply it. The foundation is white when it comes out of the bottle, but when I begin to apply it, it adjusts to blend perfectly with the color of my skin. My biggest problem area is my cheeks right here. Color Beauty feels really light on my skin, and I can tell that it is pretty full coverage, so it looks like I don't have too much foundation on, but it is covering all my acne scars like I was saying before. I actually really love it. It's weightless and it's full coverage and also it literally just matches my skin as soon as I put it on. It's no work. I've never experienced a foundation like this. Color Beauty only comes in two colors, light and medium. If you have fair skin or you burn easily, go with the light. If you have darker skin, go with the medium. Plus, with an SPF of 50, they're getting the highest level of sun protection in a lightweight formula. And best of all is Color Beauty's exclusive special. Order this New Year's and get 40% off. That means you'll get the color adjusting foundation, the skin smoothing primer, and the fan favorite lash enhancer for thicker, longer looking lashes at 40% off. Plus, get free shipping. Visit color40.com or call the number on your screen. Well, take a look at this. T-Mobile's New Year's at the Needle celebration brought fireworks to Seattle skies. The show featured live pyrotechnics and augmented reality at the famous Space Needle. The Space Needle partnered with multimedia studios and digital artists to create the first ever live fireworks show to be augmented live with exclusive special effects only seen on TV or streaming online. To keep the community safe, everyone is encouraged to stream in the new year from home or at watch parties without gathering or creating crowds at the Seattle Center in support of public health guidance. There were no events at the Space Needle and no public viewing at the, at the Seattle Center where crowds are not permitted. And there, it takes off. That is so cool. It flies away. Very cool. Oh, look at that. That's really isn't, awesome. Isn't, that's great. Wow. Well, an alert Seattle hockey fan got to meet the man whose life she may have saved Saturday night. All by sending him a very unique warning. Vancouver Canucks assistant equipment manager Brian Hamilton was in the middle of moving equipment when he noticed a woman behind the bench pressing her phone against the plexiglass. The message on Nadia Popovici's phone was written in large font and expressed concern that she thought a mole on his back was cancerous and he should should get it checked. Well, it turned out she was right. He reached for something and the lapel of his jacket fell down a little bit and I could see this this mole. It immediately caught my eye and it just met all the hallmarks for, you know, what I thought skin cancer may look like. Well, Hamilton took her advice and he went to get it checked out and it did turn out to be skin cancer. After spending some time searching for her on social media, her mother saw a message from him and told her daughter about it. The pair met in person Saturday night when the Canucks played the Seattle Kraken again. Both teams chipped in to award Popovici a $10,000 scholarship to medical school. So she knew <laughs> what she was talking about. What are the odds of that? Oh, cool. people, there are good people in the world. Yeah, yeah. you know, yeah. you've got to keep an eye out for each other. That's exactly right. Even at a hockey game. Especially in this weather. Yes, yes. Right now it's important just to keep an eye on anybody uh, who might be struggling with the cold and also just the icy conditions right now. Anyone out on sidewalks just needs to be really, really careful for us because these temperatures not conducive to getting things cleaned up or at least squeak clean over the next few days. We'll take a closer look at what's ahead with your full 10 day right after the break. Entresto is the number one heart failure brand prescribed by cardiologists and has helped over one million people. It was proven superior at helping people stay alive and out of the hospital. Don't take Entresto if pregnant. It can cause harm or death to an unborn baby. Don't take Entresto with an ACE inhibitor or allosquerin, or if you've had angioedema with an ACE or ARB. The most serious side effects are angioedema, low blood pressure, kidney problems, or high blood potassium. Ask your doctor about Entresto. Oh my gosh. Wow. Who am I? Wow, is that really me? <laughs>
Hi, I'm Annette and I'm an actress. Under eye bags and wrinkles are so frustrating. They're so hard to hide and so hard to get rid of. I came across Plexiderm and I was so excited. We have a model, his name is Richie, and all he's doing is taking a small amount. It's so powerful, that's all it takes. This new year, in just 10 minutes, you'll look incredible. This is something that you can do in the convenience of your own home. It's a cream, it's a topical, it literally creates an invisible layer that tightens the skin and smooths it out. All you do is gently rub it underneath your eyes, on your fine lines and wrinkles, and it visibly disappears in as little as 10 minutes. My real true opinion is holy words I can't say on camera. <laughs> this is absolutely unbelievable. I mean, I could feel it just lifting my skin. It was amazing. It feels good. It feels great. Looks even better. I can't even believe that this worked. I was a little skeptical. I am not going to lie because I saw people online with it. I'm like, yeah, right. That can't possibly work. I'm telling you, it really works. I thought I might see a little difference, but to see that big of a difference and you know, I felt something happening, but I had no idea. Like, I have so many dark circles. I have the puffiness. I have the lines. Like, it's amazing. I love it. <laughs> I did this to my father at home because I was skeptical. Yes, I admit it. Four minutes, 34 seconds. The appearance of his under eye bag was completely gone. We were screaming. You have an event. You have any of those moments where you want to feel the best about yourself. I am telling you, the videos that you see on social media and TV are real. This new year is the best time to get Plexiderm for only $14.95 and see it work for yourself after your first application. Your solution is at PlexidermTrial.com or call the number on your screen. News 3 Now First Worn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. It is a sunny and clear outside right now. Doppler track, of course, nice and quiet. And that's generally how it's going to stay as we look ahead to the next several days. So uh, a few flurry chances mixing in, but it really doesn't look like it's going to add on to any more accumulation for us throughout southern Wisconsin. It is going to be a little cold or a little less cold outside for Tuesday. Not quite as cold for us Tuesday. That's the good news. A brief warm up expected before things plunge down just a little lower for us for the end of the week. There's that light chance for some flurries and light snow on Wednesday and then cold Colder temperatures expected to develop late Thursday and heading into Friday. So we do have an alert day in the forecast now for Friday. It's going to be another day. We want to make sure you stay nice and bundled up and possibly just stay indoors if you can throughout the day. Looking at our future track, temperatures will drop to the low teens as we get closer to midnight. But heading into tomorrow morning, temps really don't drop much lower than that. Our breeze coming in from the south keeps us fairly steady, if not slowly rising into early Tuesday morning. Afternoon highs on Tuesday closer to 30 degrees, a little closer to average for us, a little bit below average, but still not quite as cold as today. So, so for Tuesday, should be pretty comfortable outside. Some light flurries developing early Wednesday morning, mainly north of Dane County. And we could see a few of those snow showers swirling around into the early morning commute, but a lot of the steadier stuff is well north of the Dells. Mostly cloudy skies throughout the day for us on Wednesday. Wednesday will be a little chilly, but not too bad for tomorrow. High temperatures in the low 30s. 30s, variably cloudy skies and a little breezy outside. And then again, once we get through that, it gets colder. As we look ahead to Friday, alert day in the forecast due to these temperatures, low temperatures will drop well below zero with wind chills dropping down to possibly 25 below zero for us for early in the morning. So definitely a morning that we'll want to stay bundled up, but again, stay indoors uh, if you can. High temperatures in the afternoon will stay in the single digits with wind chills staying below zero throughout the course of the day. And our 6 to 10 day and 8 to 14 day outlook, you can really tell we're in for a, a dry stretch trending below average with our precipitation chances. There are just not really any opportunities to have measurable accumulation, possibly some flurries. But uh, I think the, the snow one that is on the ground, uh, that's that's kind of what we're stuck with for right now. Temperatures falling throughout the day on Wednesday, Thursday. We'll see highs in the low teens with wind chills below zero throughout the day. Friday morning is going to be our cold day with temperatures dropping well into the single digit digits early Friday morning afternoon high temperatures stay in the single digits with wind chills below zero for us for Friday. 
We have a flurry chance on Saturday. Otherwise, uh, holding on to that mostly dry trend through the weekend into the start of next week. Notice next week still chilly outside. Monday and Tuesday will start off in the single digits. High temperatures are trending below average. We might see the 30s a few times by the end of next week, starting to, to warm back up just a little bit. But uh, in general, that's below average, though. 32 definitely feels a little more pleasant outside than nine. Yes, so we're gonna see 30, on Friday. 32 will actually feel warm. Right? It's that weird time of the year when that happens. So what is average high? Average high be mid 30s for us in southern Wisconsin right now. So we're a bit below that, mid to upper 30s almost at this point. And still going down the average, right? Right now. Yeah. Here and we then go. we're going to start to just go back up here soon. Soon. <laughs> By April. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you, Dana. Well, if you've shopped for a new car lately, you already know prices are up, supply is down. And we're all getting tired of the chip shortage. Adding fuel to this fire, our dealer markups on popular cars is called market adjustment or live market price. Let's find out when cars might start appearing back on lots and one new model that has some dealers reaching for the stars. It's a pretty common sight these days, nearly empty car dealer parking lots. And the vehicles the dealers do have, especially popular models, are selling for over the sticker price. So you look at uh, some of the dealerships, or I, I believe almost all the dealerships right now, have some vehicles or all vehicles that they're selling over manufactured or uh, suggested retail price. They're selling fewer cars. They can't sell them at zero to no margin. The dealers are making more money per vehicle, but it is going right back into the dealerships. But those high new car prices are tempered somewhat by the trade-in value of your old car. They've never been more valuable. Your used vehicle is worth a lot of money right now, more than it ever would have been. I mean, it's an, it's an appreciating commodity right now. Cars don't do that, but they are. So if you have a car, even in just average shape or below average shape, you're going to get a nice trade-in price on that vehicle. This all has to do with supply and demand, and one vehicle in high demand right now is the new Ford Bronco. News 3 Now's auto expert Harvey Briggs says jacking up prices on a hot vehicle is nothing new, but he's never seen a market adjustment quite like this. Harvey's seen markups of $30,000 over the sticker price. $75,000 for a $45,000 Bronco. You know, there... I don't like it. I don't think it helps the dealer in the long run. I don't think it helps the manufacturers in the long run because they're clearly taking advantage of consumers at this situation. But Harvey does point out in better times, the dealers often sell cars below the sticker price because that's what the public has come to expect. And as a consumer, you can choose to buy it or not. And so the idea, uh, I would say, if you walk into a dealer and they have a market adjustment on a vehicle, Walk out and start calling around. And Bill Sepik from the Dealers Association points out the current supply problem is temporary. We've seen the ups and downs, and it's secular, so you know, there will be a glut of cars again. It just doesn't look like it in the near future. Well, we're hearing from the manufacturers that this is going to stretch into probably the last quarter of next year. So patience is the key. Right, and take care of your existing car, Absolutely. your used car. If you can hang on to it. Right. And Harvey had the Bronco out here. We're going to test drive that, go behind the wheel in a couple of weeks. Okay. All right, very sweet, good. Sweet ride. Right. Well, coming up next on Live at Four, British folks have found a new way to keep that pesky pandemic weight off. And then coming up next hour at 5, a woman in desperate need of a specific kind of surgery can't get it due to lack of beds at the hospital. Naomi Coles with the unintended impact of the pandemic at 5. At Harker Heating and Cooling, you can save a whole bunch of money when you buy a furnace. You know what's even better? Saving even more money when you purchase a furnace and an air conditioner at the same time. Harker Heating and Cooling. Family is just very important. She's my sister and we depend on each other a lot. She's the rock of the family. She's the person who holds everything together. It's a battle, you know, I'm gonna be there. 
Keytruda and chemotherapy been treated in my cancer with two different types of medicine. In a clinical trial, Keytruda and chemotherapy was proven to help people live longer than chemotherapy alone. Keytruda is used to treat more patients with advanced lung cancer than any other immunotherapy. Keytruda may be used with certain chemotherapies as your first treatment. If you have advanced non-squamous, non-small cell lung cancer and you do not have an abnormal EGFR or ALK gene, Keytruda helps your immune system fight cancer, but can also cause your immune system to attack healthy parts of your body. This can happen during or after treatment and may be severe and lead to death. See your doctor right away if you have cough, shortness of breath, chest pain, diarrhea, severe stomach pain or tenderness, severe nausea or vomiting, headache, light sensitivity, eye problems, irregular heartbeat, extreme tiredness, constipation, dizziness or fainting, changes in appetite, thirst or urine, confusion or memory problems, muscle pain or weakness, fever, rash, itching or flushing. These are not all the possible side effects. Tell your doctor about all your medical conditions, including immune system problems, or if you've had an organ transplant, had or plan to have a stem cell transplant, or have had radiation to your chest area or a nervous system condition. It feels good to be here for them. Living longer is possible. It's true. Keytruda from Merck. Ask your doctor about Keytruda. Guys, do you suffer from erectile dysfunction? Now there's great news. Peak Performance for Men will help you regain your performance and confidence naturally. Peak Performance for Men uses an advanced form of acoustic wave therapy, clinically shown to open up and regrow blood vessels, restoring normal and natural function ability where it counts most. There are no needles, no surgery, and best of all, no pain. Call now and receive an ultrasound, your initial consultation, all for free, in over $300 value. Call Peak Performance for Men today. At Harker Heating and Cooling, you can save a whole bunch of money when you buy a furnace. You know what's even better? Saving even more money when you purchase a furnace and an air conditioner at the same time. Harker Heating and Cooling. Tonight at 5, the Madison School District switch to virtual learning leaves parents scrambling to make alternative arrangements how area daycares and local groups are helping. And alert days in the forecast for Friday for bitterly cold temperatures and wind chills. Tomorrow won't be as cold, and a little snow is expected Wednesday when the cold air arrives. My forecast at 5. And then at 6, the trial of a Dane County man accused of killing his parents begins today. We'll have a recap of the first day coming up tonight on News 3 Now at 6. Most of us have vowed to hit the gym and get healthier this new year. In the largest nutrition study ever, some researchers in Britain found something surprising about people who avoided gaining weight during the pandemic. CBS's Ian Lee has the story. When COVID shut everything down, Lily Hutchinson had time on her hands. I really actually used that time in the pandemic to just exercise as much as I could. With gyms closed across the UK, she biked at home until they reopened. Welcome to your Wednesday athletic session. I'm Amber, this is Kim. Amber Nakamura taught classes online until she was back in her London studio. So we've definitely seen a much wider group of people coming in. She also noticed many newcomers shared something in common. I think that probably scared and motivated a lot to just get in, work on their fitness levels, try to improve their overall health. These stories aren't unique. In the world's largest nutrition study with nearly a million volunteers in the U.S. and U.K., researchers saw something they didn't expect during the pandemic. What's really surprising is our research showed that for a large proportion of the population, it was actually an impetus to get healthier. Scientists found 32% of participants pushed themselves, losing an average of nearly 9 pounds. 33% ate more fruits and vegetables, while 22% snacked less. The people that started off before the pandemic with the least healthy diet and lifestyle behaviors went on to lose weight rather than gain weight, to improve their diet, to increase their physical activity and to improve their sleep habits. Lily also noticed more than a physical change. The mental rewards I get from it after are just beyond worth it. The pandemic giving some the time to focus on getting fit, both physically and mentally. Ian Lee, CBS News, London. And not everyone went on a health kick, though. While nearly a third of participants lost weight, researchers found about the same amount of people gained more than seven pounds. Right. So there's that. <laughs> yes. A lot of people spend part of their weekend at the movies. When we come back, our film critic Will Loper has the numbers for us when Live at Four continues. 
Hello, I'm Roman Ryan of Ryan Funeral Homes. As a locally owned and operated funeral home, it's important to know that not all funeral homes are the same. Some other Madison area funeral homes are actually owned by corporations based outside of the United States. A corporately owned funeral home is focused on the bottom line, making services more costly. We have served local families for more than 80 years, and our priority is investing in the community and your family. In your time of need, Ryan Funeral Homes are here for you. Fixed. No charge. Ah, that's my son. He always takes care of his mom. Ooh, what's up with Granny's casserole? It's for after your Uncle Joe's funeral. My brother didn't have a life insurance policy. I hear there's a collection to help on Adele. Yeah, a funeral costs north of 9000 these days. That's a hefty bill for family to pay if there's no life insurance check to help. Wow, makes you think, doesn't it? Which reminds me, I've been meaning to tell you I got that $9.95 plan from Colonial Pen. I'm on a fixed income, so price is important. The life insurance on TV. Just $9.95 a month to help you pay my funeral expenses. What about your family, son? You've got a wife and kids and a grandson living with you now, too. Maybe I should get the $9.95 plan, too. Thing is, this has been a rough year for my business, Ma. Money's tight. Still, for $9.95 a month, I don't have a good excuse, do I? I'm Jonathan for Colonial Pen Life Insurance Company. If you're age 50 to 85, just $9.95 a month buys whole life insurance with guaranteed acceptance. You cannot be turned down for any health reason. There are no health questions. Guaranteed lifetime coverage. Your insurance can never be canceled. Just pay your premiums. Guaranteed lifetime rate lock. Your rate can never increase. It's locked in as soon as you're covered and stays the same for the rest of your life. With guarantees like these, it's no surprise the 995 plan is Colonial Penn's number one most popular whole life insurance. Now don't forget, wear your good suit tonight. And please call about the 995 plan today while it's on your mind, okay? Call now for free information. Call 1-800-505-7613 for free information and your free beneficiary planner. No obligation. 1-800-505-7613. That's 1-800-505-7613. Call now. Big news for heartburn sufferers. Introducing Zantac 360 Degrees with a new formula that has the number one doctor-recommended medicine approved to both prevent and relieve heartburn. It works in as little as 15 minutes and lasts. New Zantac 360. This year, there are more tax credits at stake than ever before. Thousands more. The tax pros at Jackson Hewitt will help track down every last dollar. Jackson Hewitt is here to make sure you don't miss a single deduction so you can get your biggest refund guaranteed. Some good news with the traffic right now. We're not seeing any major delays, no accidents to report. And overall, all the major arteries seem to be going pretty smooth for us this evening. That's a quick look at traffic. All right, Dana, thank you. Well, it's time to meet our pet of the week here on Live at Four. And this week's featured pet is Buster. This one-year-old boy gets excited when he sees his leash <laughs> because he can't wait to go on adventures. He's a sweet boy who enjoys getting pets and snuggles. I love those ears. Buster sits when asked, and he does some fun tricks with his ears, including folding them over each other. There he goes. If you, What's the deal? If you want to see great. Buster, bust a move, stop by and visit the visit the shelter because Buster's a strong and a lot of energy he'd be, do best in a home without young children. I don't think I've ever seen a dog do that. <laughs> Isn't that great? <laughs> it is great. Oh, look at him. He is so Very cute. Very cute. Well, purchase Blossom Blend Coffee from JBC Coffee Roasters between tomorrow, January 4th, and January 18th, and 50% of the proceeds will be donated to the Dane County Humane Society. Go to giveshelter.org slash events to learn more. And the pet featured two weeks ago, Piper the Cat, is still available for adoption. Oh, it's a cute cat. Well, if you're interested in adopting any of the animals at the Dane County Humane Society, go to giveshelter.org to set up an appointment or give them a call at 838-0413. Wait, what? If you heard yourself constantly using that expression last year, you're not alone. Since 1976, Lake Superior State University has put out its annual list of banished words. On the list, no worries, instead of you're welcome. Others on the, others on the list at the end of the day, new normal, they were banished again after appearing in 1999 and 2012. Other phrases on the list, that being said, <laughs> asking for a friend, circle back, deep dive, and you're on mute. 
Well, that being said, let's circle back to the <laughs> holiday weekend. We do a deep dive into the weekend box office. <laughs> I knew you were going to do that. Our film critic, Will Loper, tells us at the end of the day, if this is the new normal, wait, what? <laughs> Hey, Mark and Susan, no new wide releases this weekend meant another easy win for Spider-Man No Way Home at the box office. The web-slinging superhero film made another $52.7 and is now the 12th highest grossing film ever worldwide. Thing 2 is number 2 this weekend with $19.6 and The King's Man trails at number 3 with $4.5 New to rent or buy on video on demand platforms is the film Mass. I don't know if I can do it. Is the room okay for you? Table and chairs. Jesus watching us. It's great. Richard, Linda, this is Jay and Gail Perry. How are you? We're fine. Thanks. The raw drama is about two sets of parents, one the parents of a school shooter, the others of a victim, who meet six years after the tragedy. How far back would you like to go? Wherever you need. Because I can tell you everything, but there's so much that no one will ever know. Where's your regret? The worst outcome imaginable happened. Any change I might have made could have resulted in a different outcome. I regret everything. Over on streaming services, new on Netflix is the film The Lost Daughter. Hey, your mommy's big like, girl. You're my big girl. She's driving me crazy. What were your daughters like when they were little? I can't remember much actually. Olivia Coleman stars in the psychological drama as a professor on vacation who meets a young mother, played by Dakota Johnson, and has flashbacks to her own experiences as a mother. I'll give you two seconds to come back. Three, two, one. New on Hulu is the 2021 film, The Year of the Everlasting Storm. Is this for Cody? <laughs> seven filmmakers make seven films that speak to the human experience of living through this past year. Stop crying. Amazon Prime this coming Friday is the film The Tender Bar. Hey, whose kid is that? My sister. Which sister? Is that a hot one or a crazy one? What, do you want to die? <laughs> okay, two rules. I'm never going to let you win. And I'm going to always tell you the truth. Your father is a beat. George Clooney directs the coming-of-age film about a fatherless boy who hangs out at his uncle's bar. So what do you want to be, JR? We're going to be a writer. Well, what's your main theme? The absent father. Poor boy who wants a rich girl. She doesn't love you. What you do next is going to be important. You go and stare up at the building in the rain. No. For Live at Four, I'm Will Loper. Oh, some heavy movies Good coming Good stuff to start the new year. Absolutely. All right. Thanks, Will. We'll have a final check of your forecast coming up. We roll playback. Three, two, one. Arthritis. Here, aspirin cream arthritis. Huh. Full prescription strength. Reduces inflammation. Thank the gods. Don't thank them too soon. Kick pain in the aspirin cream. Everyone remembers the moment they heard. You have cancer. How their world stopped. And when they found a way to face it. For some, 
This is where their Keytruda story begins. Keytruda, a breakthrough immunotherapy that may treat certain cancers. One of those cancers is advanced non-squamous non-small cell lung cancer, where Keytruda is approved to be used with certain chemotherapies as your first treatment if you do not have an abnormal EGFR or ALK gene. Keytruda helps your immune system fight cancer, but can also cause your immune system to attack healthy parts of your body. This can happen during or after treatment and may be severe and lead to death. See your doctor right away if you have cough, shortness of breath, chest pain, diarrhea, severe stomach pain or tenderness, severe nausea or vomiting, headache, light sensitivity, eye problems, irregular heartbeat, extreme tiredness, constipation, dizziness or fainting, changes in appetite, thirst or urine, confusion or memory problems, muscle pain or weakness, fever, rash, itching or flushing. These are not all the possible side effects. Tell your doctor about all your medical conditions, including immune system problems, or if you've had an organ transplant, had or plan to have a stem cell transplant, or have had radiation to your chest area or a nervous system condition. Today, Keytruda is FDA approved to treat 16 types of advanced cancer and is being studied in hundreds of clinical trials, exploring ways to treat even more types of cancer. It's true. Keytruda from Merck. See the different types of cancer Keytruda is approved to treat at Keytruda.com and ask your doctor if Keytruda can be part of your story. Tonight at 5, the Madison School District switched to virtual learning, fixes one problem, but creates another. How parents are scrambling for alternative arrangements. And new information from the FDA on boosters for 12 to 15 year olds is coming up tonight at 5. Be prepared for winter weather. Trust the First One Weather Team to give you clear, timely, and accurate info, keeping you safe and ahead of the storms. Your certified most accurate team, First One Weather, only on News 3 Now. As we look ahead to tomorrow, it won't be quite as cold outside. A nice little brief hop up in our temperatures for Tuesday, though it will be breezy. Some light snow expected on Wednesday. And then the cold really does return. Bitterly cold temperatures expected for Thursday night heading into Friday morning with wind chills staying below zero throughout the day on Friday. <laughs> Thanks, David. <laughs> Tomorrow you're on Live at 4. UW host Dr. Jeff Potoff joins us with all the latest COVID vaccine news. And Consumer Reports will tell us the best items to buy during this first month of the new year. That's coming up tomorrow on Live at what 4. that? These are the faces that smile so wide at the friends and staff who are by their side, where life is lived with a feeling of pride on every bump of life's great ride that comes from the care that sweetens the air that lives in the house that angels built. Attic Angel Community, independent homes and four levels of assisted living built with the help of angels. Stop whitening your smile the old-fashioned way with strips and trays that can take 30 minutes to an hour. I'm Jonathan Greenhut, the CEO of Paraswabs. When I met Dr. Ginnaker and he introduced me to Paraswabs and I saw how effective they were and how easy they were to use, I knew we had to share it with the world. Paraswabs was clinically studied to whiten natural teeth as well as stained caps, crowns, and veneers. It's so effective, it works on stains caused by coffee, tea, red wine, and even smoking. For those of you who have that one stained tooth that's darker than the rest, Power Swabs can target that area using swab precision. I really love the fact that you're able to go individually on each tooth and make sure that it's gonna be wider. So this New Year's, if you have yellowing between your teeth or coffee stains near your gum line, just snap, swab, and smile. And each five minute application, you'll see wider teeth. So stop whitening your smile the old fashioned way with strips and trays that can take 30 minutes or an hour and start using the Power Swabs 5-Minute Solution. Just snap, swab, and smile. After just seven days, the results were awesome. Power Swabs was easy to use every day, and each day I could see it better and better, and from beginning to end, it's definitely wider. Uh, and they look clean, they feel clean, um, and people have made comments about it, which is nice. Call for your five-minute solution to whiter teeth. This new year, order Power Swabs and receive up to 40% off the retail price. Get a free Power Swabs Quick Stick Pen with your order. The Quick Stick Pen is your on-the-go solution to help prevent stains from adhering to your teeth after drinking coffee, tea, or even after smoking. And in addition to saving up to 40% on your purchase and your free Quick Stick Pen, get free shipping by ordering now. Dial the number on your screen or visit Visit powerswabs.com today.
In today's final touch, it's a robotic party and everyone's invited. Yes, yeah, the new Robo Station Interactive Museum in Moscow. Visitors can get acquainted with different types of robots, see their technical capabilities, dance with them, even talk to them. There are industrial robots, animal robots, human-like robots that read poetry, even fish robots made of glass and plastic. The fish robots are completely sealed. Little motors move their fins and are operated by remote control. 